That's it. Front tires off the XT. Hello, hello, D Rock here. Welcome to the channel. I hope you all are well. So, what I'm up to today is well, today's going to be a learning experience. So, what I'm doing is I'm using all the tools that I carry on my bikes when I'm out in the backcountry, and I'm just going through the motions of using them refreshing myself on their purposes and make sure that they all work on the bikes that I ride deep into the backcountry. In the event of, for example, a flat tire and uh, I have to, uh, for lack of a better term, self-rescue. So it's good to do this every so often and um, today I, I need to uh, teach myself about dealing with the tire situation. This has been bugging me for a long time. And I know the uh, the um, ins and outs of it. I've researched it, but um, I'm gonna try my hand at it and hopefully it all works out. So before I get to the XT250 here, I was trying out my Rolling Mavericks jack, ultralight jack on my Suzuki DR650, making sure that I have the points on the bike to where I can lift up the rear or the front to get the tires off in the event of a flat. No problems, work fine. The Royal Maverick Jack works on the Suzuki, the CRF 300L, and the XT250. So I know if I get in a situation in the backcountry, in the desert, there's no trees to hook up to. There's just some rocks and twigs and stuff. So I need something to get the bike up. The Rolling Mavericks Jack will work. So next is uh, getting the tires off and putting a tube in them and orienting myself so I'm fresh and ready to do an event of that, or I'm on the road and I get a nail on the tire. So, you know, choose your variable, but the basis of today is just uh, to learn. To learn, always to learn, and hopefully be prepared for, you know, whatever comes at you if you can. So join me. This will be an adventure, no doubt. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It helps me out tremendously. Let's get to it, shall we? So I am gonna move out to the grass or dirt to do this, but initially I, am, I carry a little rag with me, but that'll go under the rotor there, but I'm gonna put that there for, for the time being. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unscrew this and get the valve out. Okay, it's happening. All right, so I'm gonna break the bead now and we're just I'm in the grass, but I uh, probably be in the desert. Man, this thing, they weren't kidding. There we go. All right. Okay. Tusk D Sports are no joke. <laughs> that sidewall is stiff. All right, well, now we're going to see how these spoons are. Okay, there's one. Actually, Hmm. 
teaspoon suck. Okay, well, that was an adventure. So this is the better spoon right here. It's a tusk spoon. And I started with the other ones and I was able to get a little more progress. But... Um, I really am having a hard time getting this particular one in there and grabbing it. does not want to do it. This is why you practice with your tools. Goodness. Wow. That, uh, that's something else. somewhere now all right there's the valve there we go we successfully removed the tube all right, so I've got the tube. It's, there's nothing in it, there's no air. So I'm gonna put the stem back in it and I'm gonna put a little air in it and then get it back into the, the tire and then hopefully I can get the tire back on the rim. All right, use my tool here to get this back in. Okay, that's in. Hand pump. See if this is even doable. All right, we got air going in. Okay, I know the hand pump works because I've got some air in here now, but um, I want to try one of these CO2s. So I've never done that before. So let's see what happens when we do that. Yeah. Okay. Go. Make sure that it's closed. All right, I think I've got that hooked up right. I don't know, I've never used it before. Right, I'll screw that in there. I don't know how much air the cartridge is gonna put in. I guess it doesn't really matter because I can always. Oh, boom. Check that out. That's pretty sweet. Okay, I didn't want to like fill it up completely, but there. Got some in there. So I want a little air in the tube, I think, to get it back in the tire. So let's Let's go from here. All right. Well, I guess uh, we'll see if we can get this tube back in. So I got the valve stem cap there. Where? Oh, there we are. There's valve. I need to get it through that hole. Once I get it through the hole, I'll put a cap on it. And then I'll see if I can get the rest of this in. I think I got a little too much air in the tube.
Wow. Well, let me tell you. Getting the uh, valve back in <laughs> has been quite the hoot. Okay, now the fun part is to get this back in. Mother, let me tell you, this is, that is a seriously stiff sidewall there. All right, so now we want to get back in. Set it down, huh? Not to pinch the tube. To the other. I'm just keeping an eye on that tube so I'm not hitting it. This last bit right here is ridiculously hard. So here's where I'm at. I'm pretty sure I busted my, my tube. I heard it. And the rotor here is getting in the way of me getting any leverage on these short. See, I just can't. So I gotta pull the tire back off, pull the tube back out, check it to make sure I didn't pop the tube. And then I think I'm going to flip it and try from the other side. <laughs> okay, so it begins. Good practice. <clears throat> Man. All right. Let's get the two back out. Oh, yeah. There you go, right there. Worthless. All right, yep, I definitely, that's the only spot, I nicked it. And this is gonna happen, I mean, this is how you learn. All right, let's get some air in this and we'll start all over again. get this in there first. Yeah, can we do that? Oh, this is going to be a good lesson today. So I got to pull a tire over on this side. Choice words coming to me. I like standing on this whole thing. It's so difficult. Man. Oh, 
Mm. Oh, oh, we're close. Ah, we did it. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. Ah. Okay, well, let's begin again. I'm not going to put any grease or anything on the tube. Let's go ahead and get this in and go through that whole process of getting the valve back in there. All right, barely got the valve peeking through. Would you look at that? Got it through. How about that? Okie dokie, now comes the fun part. Hopefully we don't pinch this tube. We're gonna be cool here. Do not pinch the tube. section here is a bummer. Moment of truth. Oh, yeah. Good lord. Oh, getting this figured out, I think. Oh my God, got it. Good Lord, that sucked. If you're hearing that screaming, that's some alpacas fighting each other. I'm wondering if I uh, pop that other Well, I'm wondering if I pop the tube again. I'm going to, we're going to blast it with the CO2 again and see what happens. All right, I got another spare cartridge, so we're going to give this one a shot too. All right, let's open that up. Right at 20. That'll work. Looks like I got it back in. The bead's back in. Looks good. I don't. Maybe I got lucky and didn't pinch that uh, second tube. I'm trying to listen to see if I hear anything hissing. So the CO2 canisters definitely work. I've had these for some time. You can tell they're all nastified. They've been riding around on the bike for like a year and a half, but it definitely worked in inflating. It did the job and uh, I'm pretty stoked about that. So uh, it's good to be redundant though and have the hand pump as well. Maybe even, you know, an electric pump. I mean, why not, right? If you get the room, but uh, the CO2 cartridges work for me anyway. And I'm just going to give it a few minutes and see if I'm losing air with the tire. And if I'm not, then I feel pretty secure about putting it on the bike. Okay, so I took a break and left for an hour. And I actually went to Rocky Mountain ATV and got some... I got a couple more spoons like this and a longer one. And some more 21-inch uh, tubes. But I wanted to see if this thing was holding air. And let's see... Yep, still at 20. So 
I didn't pinch the tube that second time. Bueno. All right, let's get it back on the XT. So I'm just cleaning these out before, oh, before I put the axle back in. And I'm going to re-grease the axle and just do a cleaning here. All right, I'm just going to put some grease on the axle here. All right, we've got the tire back on. Axles all the way through, and motor's in there, looking good. Get that back on, get that nice and tight. All right, let's get the bike lowered. That's tight, there we go. And it's done. Looks like we're good to go. So this is the uh, original tube, or the tube that I, I pinched right there. I'm actually going to, I'm not gonna throw this away, I'm actually gonna patch that and put some air in it and see uh, how it holds up, because I want to uh, I want to keep this and give this a shot. But <clears throat> that was my training, so that's the front tire. And like I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, I, uh, I practice using this is the Rolling Mavericks Ultralight Jack. So I use this to prop up the front front wheel or the rear. And <clears throat> the only thing I used today that kind of gave me a hand was this lift. But um, like I said, this is all training. So I wanted to get the tire off and then work on it in the dirt, the grass, and see what I could do. And it was uh, an adventure to say the least. Anyway, so that's the front tire. I'm gonna do the rear tire, not now, but into in, in another video. Then we're gonna take it out into the desert and give it a shot out there. So do these things and when they happen, you know, it's going to be, it's inevitable, whether like I bust a tire out in the middle, 100 miles deep in the desert or I pick up a nail somewhere, you know, it's gonna happen. So the, the outcome of all this is to be able to take care of it and not have to be stranded somewhere. So there you have it. A little bit of training, fixing a, a flat tire, and um, yeah, lots more content to come. So appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and stay safe out there. We'll see you next time. D-Rock out. Adios.